We are in France in Macon for the sixth round of this year's F2 World Championship. The penultimate race of the season could already bring the decision in the championship between Eric Edin and Pierre London who showed up with equal points. So this championship couldn't be closer and both of them are already focused to get one step closer to the title. The best chances would have Eric Edin. The Swede starts from pole position, Landin only from fifth spot. All eyes were on the starting pontoon when the red lights turned off and the field launched into the French Grand Prix. 55 laps to go and Edin could stay in front but Landin with an incredible start. The Swede already on third spot after the first turn. Tobias Muntekas was right in front of Landin's boat and in lap 2 Pierre Landin made a move and passed Muntekas for a second. Now, the 2015 world champion started his chase for the win. He could close up on Eric Edin, who leads this race from the start. Also, London's teammate Mette Bjergnes did pretty well in the race, but after having trouble with the power steering, the Norwegian lady driver had to pull out of the French Grand Prix. But still, Pierre Landin made progress towards Edin. And he started putting pressure on boat number 21. Edin at the limit, almost losing it here in London now, feeling that he could take this win home. Here it is, the race for the World Championship 2016. And again, Edin in trouble and London trying to pass both at the limit. What an outstanding race this would be. But all of a sudden, Edin in big trouble. The race is over for Eric Edin. Edin got caught in the turn by newcomer Rashid Altair. And this might be the end of Edin's title dream. Everything went perfect. The stock lapping boats, and unfortunately, in maybe lap 17 or something, uh, one lap driver didn't give me any space and just cut in front of me and I lost my sponsor and uh, this sent my, uh, my chance for the World Championship gold and uh, well, I, I think I, I deserve this one. Now it's all up to Pierre Landin. If he wins this race he is the new champion. But still the race is very long. The restart and Landin stays in front but behind him Tobias Muntekas, Rashid al Kamsi and Matt Palfreman trying to get this second spot. Three wide, they're going into turn one. This is racing at its best. And Alkamzi on second now, Parfum in third, Muntekas fourth. Now, it was Matt Parfumen looking for this second spot on the podium. And the British pilot started to closing up on Alkamzi. Muntekas got passed by new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov, who was also coming closer to Palfermann. This was tight racing. Palfermann almost catching the Abu Dhabi boat of Alkamzi, but not this time. But now it was Ustinov seeing his chance coming, and so he did. The new star pilot passing Palfermann for third spot. And it came even worse for Palfermann again after qualifying. He took out the turn boys and this ended his race as well. So after it did, now it was Palfermann who was out of the championship battle. The field ready for the restart and Pierre Landin just had to bring this race win home. The restart, London in front, Akamzi second and Ustinov close behind the Abu Dhabi boat on third. Thomas Czermak making his comeback in this race, driving for the Rainbow team, now already on fourth position. But then another heavy crash and it is Konstantin Ustinov hitting Owen Jelf and also Czermak is involved, the Slovakian running over Ustinov's boat. So the third and fourth of the race are... <laughs> What a drama! Yellow is out. 
The drivers are all okay, but with only three laps to go, the French Grand Prix will end under yellow. The checkered flag is out and it is Pierre Landin taking this important win. With this, the Swedish driver wins his second Formula 2 World Championship. I'm happy. I'm really happy now. Um, uh, too bad um, what happened to, to Eric. It, it would be... It, has to, um, it would feel better if I could uh, take him on the water. Uh, but uh, of course, I'm happy. And um, the team have made a, a really good job. I struggled with some, some small problems during the weekend. And, um, and uh, the condition that we had today is very stressful for the equipment. And, and there were no problem at all. The engine went really good in the boat and everything went perfect. Second came Abu Dhabi driver Rashid Al Kamzi, which is his best ever result in F2 in his very first season. It was a very hard and a tough race. Uh, it was so so windy and uh, too much rough. This is uh, the four uh, round uh, that I race, and I got uh, the second. And I hope uh, I stay for the next uh, races in the podium. After Ustinov and Chermak were out of the race, it was Edgaras Ryabko getting the third spot on the podium. Also for the Lithuanian pilot, it's his best ever F2 finish. In Mokon, uh, I thought I, I could get some points, more than in eight or, or seven plays. In heart, I was, I, was, I was wondering about the podium, but I didn't <laughs> accept that, that, that so fast I will get the podium. So I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> What a dramatic championship decision this was. All pays out for Pierre London, who is the 2016 F2 world champion. But the season is not over yet. With four different Grand Prix winners this year so far, who knows what will happen at the season finals in Portugal. So stay tuned and keep on following F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2worldchamp.com.